This is Marketplace Money from American Public Media. I'm Tess Vigland, and we are live from the Winningstad Theater in downtown Portland, Oregon. And now it's time to unveil our mystery guest for the evening. Please welcome at center, six foot 11, 260 pounds, former Portland Trailblazer, number 14, Chris Dudley. Thank you so much for joining us, Chris. My pleasure, thank you. I hope we can fit you in this chair. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. <laughs> so. All right, now, you have been in the NBA, or you were in the NBA for 16 years. Can you confirm for us that tall people are better with money than the rest of us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, now, what folks might not know, uh, you're a certified financial planner now, and you're a parent. Your kids are here. How old are they? They are uh, 11, 9, 7, soon to be 8 on Wednesday. All right, welcome Somewhere to all out of you. Here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that introduction, uh, my first question is, what's tougher, defending Shaq or talking to your kids about money? Mm, defending Shaq. Defending Shaq. <laughs> That's okay. a tough one. Uh, <laughs> well, so when did you start talking to your kids about money? What age were they? Did you have a plan? Yeah, I, I thought it was important. Um, I don't know that you start off talking about money per se, but the idea of that you can't get everything that you want and that you have to have priorities and that there are certain things you value and certain things you save. So I think as time goes on, when they're super young, it's just the idea of that you can't, just because you want something, you don't get it. And then as, as they get a little bit older, uh, we started with the allowance and started talking about money and what, what money is. Mm -hmm. what, do you remember what age <laughs> they were when you started having actual conversations? I would somewhere probably four or five. Yeah. And did you find that they were interested? Was it hard to keep their attention? Uh, they were, I think they're interested because they see it every day. They sure. see, see money and they want to know what it, it, and they see that it gets things that they want. And so they're very curious on, on what it is. Did you have a certain way that you worked your allowance? Yeah, we, we give them allowance every week. And it was really the idea was that you have to meet certain, you have to do things to, to earn your allowance. And that is, uh, they make their beds, do the dishes, and, and all those sort of their family chores. Um, and if you don't do certain things, there may be times where your allowance, it can be used as a tool um, uh, <laughs> that you don't get allowance if you don't do certain things. Mm -hmm. What was the toughest money question that they ever asked you? And I have to ask this, was it a <clears throat> slam dunk for you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> little crowd reaction there. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, the toughest, well, I just heard Beth talking about, uh, and I'll get this at the camp, as someone might have a bat, do basketball camps and other types of camps, is how much money do you make or how much money does somebody else make? And, and talking about those, uh, talking about that can be a difficult, difficult question. Uh, and how do you answer? Well, I... I uh, yeah, it's a tough like one. that. <laughs> well, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, because they'll ask with professional athletes or certain players who get a ton of money, and then there's certain people who don't get a ton of money. And I really just I don't tell them how much, but I say it's not really important. It's on. It's basically uh, that they they work hard for what they're doing. But I really try to segue back into don't you don't value, and I think this is important. You don't value people based on how much money they make, and that if you work hard, um, and that there's a sense of money's important, money's a tool to achieve certain things, but I think uh, in our society, and, and these, I see it in sports all that, and when you're in the public, is make sure that it's real important for me that my kids don't value people on how much money they make, because I, I don't think that's the value. So we talk about what really matters is what type of person they are. Uh, let me take you briefly from dad to a financial planner yeah. mode. Uh, what do you think is the most important thing that parents can do, presumably most of them with a, a lot less money than you, to teach their kids about why this matters? Well, I think it's, uh, you look at money as a tool of, of and, and by that you don't, you don't put it in a place beyond where it should be, but it's a tool that if for, to achieve your goals. And your goals are putting food on the table and, and taking care of your family. And that's, 
that's why money is important. Is it's, a, it's a way of being rewarded for work that you do, and it's a way of taking care of achieving the goals for your family. All right. Chris Dudley, thanks so much. Chris well, Dudley, everybody.